In the flesh. Right in the flesh. He's, have you felt him gazing adoringly through the window pane to the oh, studio yeah. at you? And it's, you know what, just the old ghost of Fitzy in this studio. I tell you what, <laughs> we kicked it off 2004. Actually, there's a photo. Someone's put up a photo of the first year we went to air. Really? 2004. And I had hair back then. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, what brings you to town? Um, so I had my uncle's funeral, Uncle Ken, up in the Riverland yesterday. So um, you, can I just tell you this? It was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard in my life, and I've never been to a funeral where someone, their life that you're celebrating, wrote their own eulogy. Wow. So oh. Uncle Ken, he had cancer, and do you know what? It's been a tough few years for him, but mm. he organised his whole funeral. I, I joke about this on air all the time, that people should start organising their own funerals. Yeah. Music, you know, ashes, whatever you want to do with all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But he did it all himself, mm. and he didn't want anyone. He was a humble man. He didn't want anybody to celebrate his life or pump him up. Yeah. So he said, I'll write my own eulogy. And the thing that blew my mind is we knew that he had served in Vietnam, but he told stories that a lot of people at the funeral had no idea about because he kept it to himself right. until he wrote his own eulogy. That's wow. Unbelievable. Can I give you That's one? Incredible. Yeah. This freaks me out because yeah. I had no idea. I would have loved to have chatted to him about it. but. Yeah. This was conscription back in 1968. He was 20 years of age, so he went and he trained at Puckapunyal. Then he goes up to Canungra up in Queensland to do jungle training. You're only 20 years of age, mm. and then you've thrown into war. Mm. So he told us he was part of the artillery, 104 field battery, and he says on one occasion in the middle of the night, so every night they had to dig a hole in the ground to sleep in in order to protect them from mortar shrapnel. Right. On one occasion in the middle of the night, I was woken by something crawling up my shirt sleeve and biting me on the forearm. forearm. It was a giant tropical centipede regarded as the most poisonous centipede on the planet. <laughs> as I desperately crawled out of the hole, another one bit me on the toe. I had dug up their nest that oh. night. The pain was so intense that morphine injections only lasted minutes before the pain returned. Fortunately, I was immediately flown by helicopter to a huge US Army base hospital where I vomited for hours, but there's no doubt in the world I would have died in battle from a centipede bite. Can you imagine it, what way to go? Wow. And, and, Who and, saw that coming? But see, the other thing as well, he's kept it to himself. How people can hold on to stories like that yeah. and then reveal it to everyone at their funeral. Yeah. It was really powerful. Wow, I, I, um, yeah, I just, I mean, he's kept it till then, but... I'd be telling everyone that's an oh, amazing story. You've yeah, got a lot on. of skeletons in your closet, yeah. Pacey, oh. A lot of incidents with centipedes. Oh. <laughs> that's what I call them. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so no, it was a really, really good day, and I was reflecting on it last night because I was thinking to myself, 20 years of age. S don't sweat the small stuff, mate. What yeah. are you complaining about heated oh. seats in your car yeah. when <laughs> Uncle Ken's getting bitten by oh, poisonous centipede. centipedes? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, I I'm in on my knees crying to the gods because the milk ran out mm. yeah. and yeah. he's getting bitten on the ass no. by a centipede oh, it's and crazy. dying. It's crazy. So just think about that going into your weekend. Do yeah. yourself a favour. Would you do your own, would you plan your own funeral? I've always said this. Mm. Yes, I want to control the whole thing. Right. I want my ashes spread across off the jetty down mm -hmm. at Port Nalunga. Mm-hmm. And all my mates and all my friends, every I, even if you're in your 70s and your 80s, you still got to jump off and do a layback and, and wet the jetty. Yeah. <laughs> of course. But, you know, music, you know, I'll have an ACDC cover band get, or something like get that. Get Bad Dreams in. Yeah, Bad Dreams. Yeah, definitely they could perform. <laughs> yeah. But I, I actually like people talking about this. Yeah. A lot of people don't like to talk about it, but we need to talk about death a lot more. Yeah. That's why I come on this show. <laughs> 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 Nova 919, <laughs> your home of death. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fitzy, while you are here, are you going to the Crows tomorrow night? No, I've got to go back to Sydney um, for work tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I know. Do you know what? Unfortunately, Hazy, I feel, look, I'm confident we're going to win tomorrow, but there is this pattern that's happening that we just yeah. win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Yeah. We can't win away from home. Mm. Well, if they can't win at home for Royce Lyons 250th, then there's probably some question marks. Can I just congratulate the great man? What yeah. a great career he's had. He's been unbelievable, Sloney. Actually, I put a video together for Sloney from a couple of filters off Snapchat for a couple of, a couple of his old friends that they played to him during the week. Oh, and right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's he has been just... What he's done for this country, 
Out for this country. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you love, you love the crows, don't you? <laughs> We're back to Uncle Ken. No, what he's done for this football side has been unbelievable. So we need to win for Sloaney tomorrow night <laughs> yeah. and this country. He's been, <laughs> what Rory he's got bitten by a centipede Earth. in Vietnam as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, just merging genres here. Yeah, nice. A hey, quick word on Port as well. A bunch of changes. A lot of changes. Yeah. I do like that, though. And obviously, Charlie Dixon had to have a rest. But Horn Francis, you're dropping yeah. as well. I mean, this is an important game for him. It's not a... Carlton are playing good footy, so that'll be a great game on the weekend. Do you want a fun fact? Jason yeah. Horn Francis listens to our show, yeah. doesn't he, Andrew? Yeah, he does. Mm. He um he said it a couple of times and we bumped into him, yeah. and I'm kind of shocked. And I said, he said the other day I saw him, like I catch up with him regularly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, goes, he goes, oh, maybe I'll call up. And I was like, if you call up, Jason, <laughs> we could be talking to Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> and we'll put him on hold yeah. and we'll get you on. Yeah. So good southern boy as well. Good he's southern he's boy. Good Christie's Beach. Beach boy. Yeah, mm. we used to hate Christie's Beach, Port Among the Cockle Divers and the Saints used to have some tussles <laughs> oh, over well. the years. But I do love Horn Francis. He's Okay, well Jason speaks very highly of you. Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> And if you are listening, Jason, this morning, give us a call, 13 yeah. 24 10. Yeah. I uh, appreciate time, Fitzy, as Love always. Love you guys. Thanks for having me on. Whatif.com helps Aussies make the most out of every trip. Book a hotel, flight, late checkout and spa all before you can say Bricky Buffet. Mm, jump on the What If app and get started. What If it's Aussie for travel. It's time for my diary. This is where I like to sit down and write some things and reflect and just really capture what happened this week. And I just need to preface this diary by saying you said something this week that was a bit dyslexic. It was back to front. And so that turned the whole world on its axis. Our whole show was back to front and topsy-turvy. Do you want to play it? You don't miss anything, do you? No. <laughs> you don't <laughs> no. miss any mistakes, There are no you? flies on Jody Oddy. There's <laughs> no question about that. <laughs> Jody's Diary. Dear Diary, well, it was opposite week on Nova. I mean, it wasn't until my good friend Andrew made it so. Number one song on July 12th in 1998 was Goo Goo Dolls by Iris. Absolute classic. It's been a big week in sport, but because things are all topsy-turvy, the Thunderbirds actually lost the grand final, which makes this piece of commentary really confusing. Well, the story goes, the crowd is over. It's a decade in the waiting. And it's a shame they couldn't get over the line because this was a hell of a spray from Eleanor Cardwell in overtime. Also, in opposite week, in better news, Gold Coast Suns coach Stewie Jew got a contract extension for his tremendous win loss record. Not really, Diary. He got sacked, and word has it in his final act of rebellion, he stole 10 VIP Macca sponsorship cards just to stick it up the arse of management. Speaking of putting things in your bot-bot, we offered to do just that. Morning, Michelle. What was your work perk? Yeah, I've been a nurse for years, so I think my biggest perk is a colonoscopy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the feeling like? What's the sensation of having a colonoscopy? Oh, uh, it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but given it is backwards week, our colonoscopy will involve flushing Andrew's mouth out. <laughs> Also, Diary, I became obsessed with Britney's Instagram this week. She's the one that said, again, it did I oops. That's my kid's response. <laughs> if I just posted on my Instagram page... You should just do it. Just, just, my... <laughs> just, for of, just for a bit of a laugh. Just in my bra, going like that. Can you imagine? There you go. That was Jody's juice. Thank you very much. And Jody's jugs this morning. <laughs> Diary, we also chatted about weird proposals, and as it turns out, love can be real aggressive in the Oddy household. I did not know that that yeah. proposal was coming. Greg came up behind Charlie. <laughs> 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 Who is this? Marry me, Charlie. And that's how it happened. He literally had me in a headlock and went, <laughs> marry me and love it. Finally, Diary, Ottaway from Catherine, gave us a call about her obsession with patches. Catherine from Ottaway, what do you refuse to give up? My knicker eat chewy. <laughs> that might be a wise decision, been, it would seem. I've been chewing those for the past 20 years after I gave up smoking. And do you think I can get off of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
So do all the nicotine addicts. My nicotine chewing. And the Britney Insta obsessed Jody's jugs this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Backwards Week. Goo Goo Dolls by Iris. Classic. Go off this weekend. Love from the Hazy and Jody Show. Com helps Aussies make the most out of every trip. Book a hotel, flight, late checkout and spa all before you can say Bricky Buffet. Mm, jump on the What If app and get started. What If it's Aussie for travel. Ladies and gentlemen, battles of bangers. I mean, this thing has just become an institution mm. every single Friday. Originally, it was all sort of done on Friday, but then we merged it to reveal it on a Thursday so yeah. we'd get a nice big run-up for today. Yeah, exactly. Battle of the bangers, one song each. I mean, we put the vote out there to the good people. Mm. I'm disappointed in you this week. You're all, when are you not disappointed in me? <laughs> like, can we just be honest for a second? <laughs> when have you been proud of me? I think that's the broader question. Yeah, next to never. Um, <laughs> but this week in particular, what you've decided to do is just jump on the old Taylor Swift bandwagon. Oh, everyone loves Taylor. Everyone's trying to get tickets. Everyone wants to go to the Eras tour. Oh, so I'm going to choose a Taylor Swift song, even though you have no vested interest in Taylor at all. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> I am the biggest Swifty out there. No, you're not. <laughs> When's her birthday? What? Yeah, when's her when's birthday? birthday? Oh, Thank I'm you, sorry. Abby. Who's as her last as, boyfriend? As far as I'm concerned, she's ageless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who was her last, last boyfriend? Her last boyfriend, um, I think it was Warwick Kappa, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Kappa. Wasn't Kappa? Uh, no, of course it a, wasn't. She's had a few. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, Taylor Lautner was an ex-boyfriend, as was Harry Styles. Mm. Okay. Mm. You're up with that then. Don't, yes. Don't air shame her. But yeah. no, that's not the ex-boyfriend. Now I'm trying to think of some eligible bachelors. I don't know. Travis Boak? <laughs> 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 anyway, you're right. This is the song that I chose. Oh, doesn't it just make the hair on the back of your neck stand up? <laughs> It's a good song. Oh, it is a really good song. You're disgustingly disingenuous this week. <laughs> Disgusting. I mean, it just so happens that she's touring at the moment. No. And everyone's talking about her. Oh, my God. What a quinky dink Yeah. Um, is this bike touring? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, it. shake that healthy butt. Baby got ballet. This dude a lot or what? So mix a lot. This yep. is Jody's song. Uh-huh. Go on. Plug it. Everyone in here wants to hear that. Everyone. Is, is that right? Yeah. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, I'm not looking at anyone. I'm just looking at Fitzy. I know. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we're going to reveal the winning song at 8am. Yeah. Um, she's just tight too. At Jodie and Hazy, cast your vote or send us a text 0400 919 919. Are we talking basically almost 50%? I think at last glance it was deadlocked at 50-50. Right. But I'm, I'm disappointed in that Tom Duday threw his weight behind your song. Mm. And then the votes just suddenly got even. So that speaks to the power of Tom Duday in this town. Doesn't it? Mm. I'm so glad you brought that up. Mm. Our very good friend of the show, Tom Duday, said this yesterday, just in terms of who he'd back. He, uh, obviously, the Taylor Swift tickets was a big yeah. deal a couple of yeah. weeks ago, and it led to a few of the boys leaning back into Taylor in the gym, and, and the tunes were, were very Taylor-influenced, and that's one of the great Taylor did songs. You, it's probably you, in my top three. You kind of <laughs> yes, you know what that means, friends. It means if you're a Crow supporter, no. a vote for Taylor no. Swift <laughs> no. is a show of respect All right. for Tom Duday and the Adelaide Crows. All right, Port Adelaide supporters, that means a vote for Taylor Swift No, it doesn't. Is you can't automatically assume that the so Port, Port supporters... Port Adelaide fans, jump on board Sir Mix-a-Lot, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yep. You can only do that with Never Tear Us Apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at Jodie and Hazy, get voting. So tight. This oh, is going to be intense. I will make the point that you can hear Taylor Swift on this radio station every fourth song, so yeah. where's the fun in that? Excuse me? What? Not Wild Streams, though. No. Yeah. yeah. We're going back a little bit. Yeah, righto. Go on, friends. Do the right thing. <laughs> Let's take a trip down Mary Lane for a Friday. We're in the dark. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Hazy's on this daisy. It's Friday, bitch. <laughs> go off. Whatever you're doing, just stop and go the hell off. Why not? It's on the cusp of the weekend. Uh, it's time for On This Day, but let's go back to the 14th of July. In 2008, The Dark Knight, starring Christian Bale and Heath Ledger, premieres in New York. Unbelievable performances by both. Yeah, incredible. Mm. I mean, Heath Ledger, 
what no, there'll never be a better Joker let's stay on the theme of films 1989 film When Harry Met Sally is released <laughs> we know what's coming right now don't we yeah Meg Ryan going off we definitely know what's coming she's going off because it's a Friday mm-hmm. how many times have you just been having coffee or and then you've just burst into a situation like that oh yeah totally oh, I can't go back to St George's Bakehouse in North Adelaide because of it <laughs> Hey, I'll never reappear at Chibo. <laughs> All of the Chibos. <laughs> There's a lot of them. You and Chibo. Chibo does very interesting things there. <laughs> Uh, 2015, Robbie Williams announces his return to boy band Take That. Oh, yes, Robbie. Yeah. The original and the best. Didn't Take That really um, count their lucky stars having Robbie on board. So you had um, like One Direction all split up and they all went off and did separate things. Not so Take That. No, no. They really needed Robbie more than Robbie needed them. (laughs) (laughs) 2022, Canadian singer-songwriter The Weeknd kicks off After Hours Till Dawn, which was his first stadium tour. Man, that guy's talented. I just don't know anything about him. His personal life, I couldn't tell you one weekend fact other really? than he's got great music. Well, it's strange because he knows a lot about you. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he slides into my DMs all the time. Back <laughs> like, off, weekend. Back off the weekend. <laughs> uh, number one song on July 14th in 2008 was So What by Pink. Oh, what mm, a queen. One of, the, one of those little attitude songs by Pink. Yeah, we love it. Go off, Alicia. It's Friday. Yeah, what would you go for? So a ten thousand dollar share in instant cash, hundred bucks, bang straight up. Well, the chance to win yourself a twenty thousand dollar MG car. Me me. That's the MG. Just going. Get out of my way. I've got so I've got too much swag for you. Yeah, exactly. I think that was Ken Inglis. <laughs> <laughs> they get around the Port Adelaide players and the management and their MGs, don't they? Yeah, they do. As you would. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, let's uh, jump on the phones. Good morning. Who do we have here? Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Who's this? Hi. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Hi. How are you? Good. Good thanks. We just is need this, some sort of name. Is this, is this Emma? Uh, Emma. Emma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Emma. How are you doing for a Friday? I'm, I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you? Good, good. You sound shocked and surprised to get through. Um, very much so, yes. I didn't expect this before work, so this is this is a good way to spend a Friday so far. Okay, tell us what you're leaning towards here. Are you thinking 100 bucks cash, or would you like to go... Whoa, jeez, that was aggressive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to override you there. <laughs> very excited. Wow. Um, um, yeah, 100 bucks, or would you like to go into the running of the beautiful... <laughs> Um, I think at the moment, just the way things are, I, I I think I am leaning towards the cash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Very nice. Think, um, so what are we spending sorry, towards? Sorry, Emma, I work with a child. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. His song won't win anyway, Jody. So oh, 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 yes. Shots fired. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Emma. You are on the Thank standby you so list. Much. No, you're on the standby list to potentially play Nova's Cash or the Car. No, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, then maybe your song will win then. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, geez. Hey, before we let you go, Emma, what does the cash go towards if you're choosing cash? Uh, just just life at the moment. Things, yep. things are not easy at the moment. So mm. um, it's just me and my daughter. So anything that would help out right now um, would, would just be amazing. It's, well, it's not been easy, yeah. That 100 bucks is all yours. Thank you so much, guys. This, uh, it, Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Also, just jump on our Instagram page and, and, and cast that vote towards Sir Mix a lot, baby got back. And everyone will, will be do. happy. Hey, okay. Can I, who? Can I, yeah, exactly right. Can I quickly ask you as well, how old's your daughter? Uh, she is eleven. She'll 11. be twelve next month. Wow. Yeah. In the oh. process of raising a young lady ourselves, and mm. I tell you what, for me, it's an eye opener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it certainly is. But it's one of the best jobs in the world, isn't yeah. it? Isn't it the best? Although your daughter is heading into the teenage years, so all the best <laughs> with that. Yeah, maybe I do need the car. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Oh, well done. Congratulations, Emma. Uh, good stuff. Nervous cash or the car? Plenty more chances to play across the day with Maddie and DC. We'll play again on Monday morning. Um, good stuff. Really good stuff. I, I tell you what's quite epic and just an absolute sight to see mm. is Nova's handball blitz trophy. Oh, my God. Can you just describe in the corner it's of the room here? It's almost as tall as me. 
It's absolutely massive and it's just a sight to behold, isn't it? Oh, it's really, like it's a genuine, it's the biggest trophy I've ever seen in my life. 100%. It's bigger than the Stanley Cup, I reckon. I know, and you won three whole premierships for Centrals and this one's bigger. Yeah, didn't get to it. Can't drink any beers out of this one. <laughs> no, <right>? that's true. <laughs> I mean, it is for children, yeah. so that's probably why. Uh, 13th of August, Port Adelaide VGWS. That's when we're having our Handball Blitz Grand Final. If you haven't registered yet to potentially be a participant, definitely do that via the Nova Player. We're going real estate, massive supporters of local making a difference all over SA. Um, Jody Shoes, not too far away as well. Yes, and one of my favourite clothing brands, which shouldn't be one of my favourite clo- clothing brands, has had a lawsuit filed against it. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you why next. There you go. Is it Dada? Remember Dada? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And when Eminem had his own clothing brand? Are you rocking that? No, mate. Just <laughs> no. The biggest breaking story this town has ever seen is you. I just got valuable in. This is so juicy. Jody's Juice. Well, Billie Eilish has dropped her self-directed video for What Was I Made For? So it's pretty sob-worthy. Um, and it's her contribution to the Barbie soundtrack. Uh, she's just sitting at a table and she's going through all these mini Barbie sort of outfits, but they're all replicas of all her red carpet outfits. Do you like that? Oh, okay. That's nice. Clever, and she did it all herself. Well, there you go. Okay, do you want to have a listen to the song? She did it all herself <laughs> like she's a tiny child. <laughs> <laughs> I used to float, now I just fall. Proper Billie Eilish fans will say, "Oh no, she's got all sorts of deep stuff like that." But mm. for the people on the outside, that's yeah. a that's a different side of Billie Eilish. Yeah, it is. That was so patronising. What I just said, she did it all herself. It was like little Billie Eilish. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Just tied up her own shoelaces. <laughs> Clever girl. Oh, she's so good. Look at her. That's that. Yeah. Juicy, juicy. Now a lawsuit has been filed against Sheehan. So alleging it alleges the fast fashion retailer runs an elaborate operation that seeks out and steals the intellectual property of designers, big ones, small ones, all while utilising a confusing corporate structure. Um, I've heard lots of things about Sheehan. It is ridiculously cheap, Andrew. So, hang on, just to, so what is Sheen exactly? Because I thought you were talking about Kevin Shifter Sheen. I was like, he's an absolute great of our game, and what could Shifter possibly be in trouble for? No, it's a clothing brand. Oh, and I've I, never heard of it in my life. Sorry to be ignorant. No, that's okay, that's fine. I, 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 I wouldn't expect you to know a single fact about fashion, <laughs> just judging from what you're wearing What are you right talking now. about? <laughs> um, but Sheen apparently... Um, underpays its people to do knockoffs of, you know, like mm. famous fashion. And, um, yeah, so they're morally a little bit questionable. And I wore a, a dress to work at Channel 10 and my boss said to me, that's a really nice dress, where's that from? And I'm like, she, and, and she looked horrified. Really? She was like, my daughter actually did a year 12 sort of thesis on how, yeah, morally questionable they are. Wow, and you're rocking it at work. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I don't buy from there anymore. Just okay. after hearing all that stuff. There you go. Good stuff. Juicy. Juicy. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix docuseries has been nominated for a Hollywood Critics Award after the repair received a major blow from judges of this year's Emmy Awards because they got snubbed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in the running for the gong for Best Streaming Notification Series category for their six-part series, Harry and Meghan, which was released last December. Have you watched it? Uh, I haven't quite watched it yet. It's definitely on my to-do list. Is it? Yeah. I think the best thing about the story, in fact, the only good thing about the story is um, it gives us a chance to replay their time on South Park. <laughs> we proud as that. We proud as that. Hey, thanks for having us on the show. It's so awesome to be here. It's great. So let me start with you, Sam. You've lived a life with the royal family. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, We. <laughs> <laughs> Very good stuff. Well done, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Um, it's actually worth a watch, and I walked away from it thinking, oh, you know, it's actually really quite a lovely love story between the two of them. You said you just, you, you couldn't sit there the whole time and be like, oh, I just, I'm not sure, and I'll potentially get in trouble for saying this. Oh, You'd always probably. be questioning the morals and the intent in all those sorts of things. Do you know what I mean? Not really. Oh, my gosh. Well, do you think that they've just... Like, You're so blind with all- love, aren't you? <laughs> just done all that for money? Well, no, I'm not sure. I'm just saying she's a movie star. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, well, okay. then stop talking. I don't even know what day is. Is my suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> what radio station is this? And that's Jody's Juice.
<laughs> Let's veer back onto a different direction. You didn't really support me with that one, did you? No, not at all. Yeah, I was trying to go watch, after Megan a little bit. No, honestly, watch it, and then I'd be curious to see what you think of them okay. after you watch it. All right, yeah, I will watch it. I'll get around to it. Right, a lot then. of things to do on that list, though. And then try and have an opinion. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, so I've got an opinion on this song. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy butt. Baby got bad oh, That's not very healthy. This is Jody's song for Battle of the Bangers. Uh, and look, things are getting really, really tight. Um, so it's Sir mix a lot, lot versus Taylor Swift. Uh, so here's the thing, though. What? What happens if it's a draw? Oh, really? Yeah, what? Is that where it's, it's that heading? tight. Is it? It's genuinely pretty much 50% okay. each. Well, what do we do then? Well... I think the only logical thing to do would be to play them at the same time, wouldn't it? That's good, that's good radio. That's good radio. That's, that's what we call a mashup, folks. <laughs> that's, that's our version of a mashup. <laughs> just as good. Jodie and Hazy in with you. It is just an absolute gorgeous day. So get out there and live it. Am I right? Yeah. Go get it. Live your best life. Go get it, kings and queens. All those types of things. Uh, and potentially listen to a really, really good song from Taylor Swift. <laughs> Yeah, two songs, two comrades just going head to head and battling it out for hit supremacy. Yep. Two songs this morning. You got Taylor Swift, Wild Streams, and also Sir Mix a Lot, Baby Got Back. When was the last time you played Taylor Swift, Wild Streams in your car? Oh my gosh. I mean, when was the last time I was in my car? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's a good point. It's a good point you raise. Yeah, um, just a bit of feedback on the text line too. Uh, you can get involved. Oh four double oh nine one nine nine one nine. Logan said seriously, Hazy Taylor Swift. As if we aren't hearing her enough. Get it, Joe. So mix a lot for the win. That uh, Logan Roy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From Succession. Wow, well, we love that he tunes in. Uh, good morning, cameraman Josh. Good morning, guys. How are we going? Uh, going better for seeing you, great man. I'll oh, tell you in about fifteen seconds time. <laughs> mm. Okay. How right. are we going? I'll tell you what. People love Taylor Swift, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's crazy. But <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> like you didn't deliberately tap into that. Is she quite popular? <sighs> she, she is quite popular, Hazy. Mm. And um, I, I thought we could tap into that, actually. And Jodie doesn't know this, but I went ahead and tagged 10 Taylor <laughs> Swift fan no, pages. No, you didn't. Did you? In, including the massive Taylor Swift fans Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. Are you Ooh. kidding? Who are renowned for being very vocal about their swiftiness. Very vocal. Mm. So you rigged it. But do you know what people love a little more than Taylor Swift? Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes, please, 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 please. They love Big Butt! Yes! What is going on? (laughs) Okay. All right. So what was the end vote count? What do we got? It was 52% to 48%. Wow, it was tight, people wasn't it? People were going hard. Whoa. People going hard lace. Yeah, the text line has been very, very aggressive oh, towards okay. me. Okay, okay, okay. Logan, this one's for you. Yeah. Come on. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, just before I play the song, can I just say this? If you're an Adelaide Crow supporter, and if you in particular like Tom Duday, You've really let him down. Oh, okay. Like, you've really oh, broken his heart. I put a dampener on this. I list. mean, he's trying to recover from a broken ACL. <laughs> it's too late. You've, you've lost. given him a broken heart as well. Don't emotionally manipulate people. Just play my song. <laughs> Thanks. All right, congratulations. Here's a winning song for Battle of the Bangs. So it makes a lot. Yeah. Baby got back. Good morning. Oh, my God. Baby got back. Man, is this song still going? <laughs> Is it Saturday yet? This song has been going for about seven and a half minutes. We get it, Sir Mix a lot. You're the oh, horniest person on the planet. Don't fade it out. Oh, I think he's little in the middle, out. but you got much back. <laughs> there you go. That's the winner of Battle of Bangs this week. Congratulations to you, Jody Oddie. Thank you. This uh, is how salty you were. You didn't sing one lyric to that song. Because I don't like the song. <laughs> I genuinely don't like the song. Oh, look, quickly, we just need to do a Battle of the Bangers yeah, um, score update. Do you want to do it? No, no you, you can do, do it. it. You do no, it. it's fine. Okay, I'll just leave it be. Okay. Six to four it yeah. is. Well, what I was hopeful for was that it would genuinely even, even us up nicely. What I've learned from that is mm. um, no tactics. Don't get tactics involved. Just choose a song from the from heart. From the heart. I've been saying that to you the whole time. Don't yeah. choose a Taylor Swift song just because she's popular. So what I'm Idiot. saying is a heartfelt song from you is a bloke talking about big, round, juicy butts. <laughs>
<laughs> That's you talking from the heart. I love that he's like, Mikalat's in trouble. <laughs> I'm very much up and about after that little victory. Um, so I would like to give a double pass away to Mel Buttle. Let me know either way at the show. It's an ode to our modern hero. So if you want to go along Glenelg Winter Arts Festival, shows, bars, festive fun at the Bay, July 6 to 23 in Collie Reserve, um, GlenelgWinterFestival.com. Get around it. But if you want to go along, give us a call now, 13 24 10, and just tell us how much you love that song. <laughs> Well, Joe's love and friendship mm. in strange places. How good. Sometimes it comes out of nowhere. goes, bang, I'm your friend now. You just don't know. It, it has no timing. Nah. It doesn't know the rules. The universe dictates it to you. Yeah. You've got no choice in who you become friends with. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> well done. What about this? A gunman in Manhattan Beach was driving his victim to an ATM machine and in the process of robbing him, the two became friends. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Of course. Isn't that nice? It's your predictable friendship story. Give me all your money and become my BFF. Yeah. During the armed robbery, the robber was very apologetic and told the victim he had bills to pay. The victim was understanding of this and and after a successful robbery, the man drove the victim back home and the two made plans to reconnect someday. Shut up. <laughs> Should we do this again? <laughs> <laughs> you rob me next time. I can connect with this story, though. Why? 2008. And I've got to be very careful when I, um, when I retell this story, so I'll probably leave some details out. Okay. 2008, after a, uh, a little uh, premiership dinner. Yeah. So we had a really successful time there for a little bit for the Central District Footy Club. It's out barely been mentioned by you. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Do you want to go through it? <laughs> <laughs> Three whole premierships. <laughs> <laughs> Well <laughs> it's uh, for everyone. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> so during a night out, so I became entangled. I had a bit of an argument with a stranger, and we um, let's just say we had a, a good proper argument, right? To the point where I felt bad, and I came back to the place where we had such physical argument, and uh, that person was still there. And hang on, did you nearly connected. Did you nearly get in a punch on? Yeah. Or did you yeah, get nearly, in a punch on? Nearly. Let's go. Nearly. That's fine. <laughs> and I came back and he was he was still there. Right. And then I apologised and then we end up genuinely being friends. What? Yes. For about two hours we sat there and we genuinely nutted it out. Really? Yeah. And by the end of it, I, I did actually give him a little bit of money as well. And <laughs> it's a story. Well, yeah. So but that, I can connect with the story because it was two blokes that and I don't know if this is a bloke thing, particularly back in the day where if you have an argument, or even if it gets physical, you can quickly work it out. Why did you give him money? Well, I don't know. I think if there was anything that needed to be covered in terms of medical bills and things like oh. that, <laughs> I don't know if 100 bucks would cover it. <laughs> but I do remember as well, and I was thinking about this story this morning, and the last sort of detail, yeah. because the details were a bit blurry, yeah. whereas I needed to sort of cover myself a little bit in right. case he could come back and mm. um, hit me in the face. And then... He said, oh, what football club do you play for? Oh. And I went, oh, here we go. This will, this will give it away because then he'll do some research. Yeah. And then I went, I play for Norwood. It's <laughs> 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 a damn genuine true story. And then he said, oh, I love Norwood. <laughs> Norwood's my club. And I'm, I'm not kidding. He goes, let's sing the club song together. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'm done here. I'm completely done. And I go on him, I, I don't know the words. Oh. I don't know the words. Right. So there you go. And then he completely didn't buy that. And it was 2008 and Nord really had a purple patch after that. Yeah. 2008, I think they had a bit of a rough season. I was like, oh, we never win. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know the words. <laughs> he didn't buy it. It's a grand old flag. It's a high flag. And there's me and him just looking at each other, waiting for someone to pick it up. It's a bad flag. Go the legs. <laughs> You've told some weird stories on this show, but that takes the cake. <laughs> I'm not liable for this story as well. It may or may, may not be true. Does that cover me? No. <laughs> there's a bloke There's a bloke who may or may have got hit back in the day who's looking at me. He's listening to this right now going, I knew it. <laughs> I knew he didn't play for Nord. <laughs> Time now as well to reward our core of the week. Mm. Now, uh, we spoke to a beautiful lady called Catherine yesterday and let me just get straight into this in terms of a recap Catherine from Ottawa what do you refuse to give up my Nicorette chewy <laughs> <laughs> that might be a wise decision been, it would seem I've been chewing those for the past 
20 years after I gave up smoking and do you think I can get off of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. Well done, uh, Catherine. Beautiful. Catherine, and she joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, are, are you just chomping down on some Nicorette Chewies this morning? <laughs> yes, I've been chomping down on those Nicorette Chewies for years. Yes. Oh. My husband, my husband cracks up because I've got this habit. If I go to eat something or drink something, I just put my chewy down. Yeah. And then I forget about it, and my husband will pick up, his, put his iPad or his phone or something on top of my chewy, and he'll pick up his <laughs> iPad or phone, and there's a chewy stuck to the back of it. <laughs> it's a good My run. kids won't even go in my handbag because they'll pull out a pen or, or my phone or something. There's a chewy stuck <laughs> on it, and it's got little hairballs on it, little fluff balls. It looks like a little gross. You know? <laughs> Catherine, Catherine, my husband has a habit of leaving his chewy in my car, and I have texted him before and said there's a special place in hell for people who leave their chewy lying around. Yeah, but sometimes you can't help it because sometimes you know there's no bin around. You don't yeah, want to throw right. it on. The, you don't want to throw it on the ground. No. But yeah. I used to have a habit of taking my little chewy packet to bed, <laughs> Did you? and then I'd. I'd chew, and then by the time I'll, I'll have a drink and then put my little chewy back in the packet, but somehow it made its way into my bed. Oh, right? no. Wowie. But my husband gets up in the morning and he had this <laughs> he had something on his back, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, if he finds it, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> well, he had my chewy get on the back of his, his shirt, and I'm thinking, I was waiting for him to take it off oh. so I could quickly throw it in the bin. I'm thinking, oh, I haven't done that ever again. No, Catherine, we could listen to your chewy stories all day. I know. But... I mean, never a dull moment, not a way. No. <laughs> hey, uh, Catherine, thank you so much for uh, joining us. We've got a little uh, holiday package voucher for you. A $100 Reading Cinemas voucher and $200 Beach House voucher to give to you. The Beach House, perfect oh, destination. Oh, thank you. That's what I wanted yesterday in the iced oh. coffee one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was shattered. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I could have said that. I could have mentioned my hormone patches or I could have mentioned my uh, golden gay times, you know. Yeah, so I could right. have mentioned something. Yeah. Something. No, my chewies were the best. Yeah, good <laughs> on you, Catherine. Well, this works just as well. Congratulations, the Beach House is a perfect destination uh, for a fun-filled day.